Do you ever find yourself too busy or distracted to think deeply about anything? We live in a world that is constantly on the go, where every second counts and distractions are just a tap away. It's a world that often leaves us feeling overwhelmed, rushed, and unable to pause and reflect. This relentless pace of modern life often robs us of the opportunity to think deeply, to ponder on the bigger picture, and to truly engage with our thoughts and emotions. Deep thinking is not just about intellectual exploration, it's also about mindfulness, about being present in the moment, and about understanding ourselves and the world around us on a profound level. It's about asking the big questions and seeking the meaningful answers. However, amidst the hustle and bustle, the ancient text of the Bhagavad Gita offers valuable insights on this issue. It provides us with tools to navigate our busy lives while still engaging in deep thinking and mindfulness. One of the most prominent stories from the Bhagavad Gita is the conversation between Arjuna and Krishna. On the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Arjuna, a mighty warrior, found himself paralyzed by doubt and moral dilemma. He was torn between his duty as a warrior, which required him to fight, and his love for his relatives, who were on the opposing side. He was trapped in a situation where any choice he made seemed to lead to undesirable consequences. At this crucial moment, Krishna, his charioteer and guide, offered him profound wisdom that has resonated through centuries. Krishna didn't simply tell Arjuna what to do, instead he presented a broader perspective, a way of thinking deeply about his situation. Krishna explained that one's duty, or dharma, is of paramount importance. It's not just about what we do, but why and how we do it. He said, you have the right to work, but never to the fruit of work. This means that we should be focused on our actions, not on the outcomes we desire. We should act without attachment, without being swayed by success or failure, pleasure or pain. Krishna also emphasized the importance of deep thinking and self-realization. He urged Arjuna to look beyond the surface, to understand the eternal nature of the soul and the ultimate reality beyond the physical world. This would allow Arjuna to see his dilemma not as a personal crisis, but as a part of the larger cosmic play. By sharing this wisdom, Krishna helped Arjuna to think deeply, make a conscious choice, and act with clarity and conviction. Arjuna was able to overcome his doubts and fears and fulfill his duty as a warrior. This story encourages us to think deeply about our actions and their consequences. It reminds us that we are not just passive players in life, but active participants. We have the power to shape our destiny through our thoughts, our choices, and our actions. And this power comes from deep thinking, from understanding our true nature, and from aligning our actions with our higher purpose. Deep thinking is a recurring theme in the Bhagavad Gita. The ancient Hindu scripture is filled with wisdom about the profound importance of understanding oneself and the world around us through mindfulness and contemplation. Consider the verse in chapter 2 where Krishna advises Arjuna, saying, You have the right to work, but never to the fruit of work. This verse encourages us to focus on the process, the effort we put in, and detach ourselves from the outcomes. It's about deep thinking, about understanding the nature of actions and their consequences, about not getting attached to the results, but focusing on the journey itself. Then there's the verse from chapter 6 where Krishna explains to Arjuna the significance of meditation and mindfulness. A person is said to have achieved yoga, the union with the self, when the perfectly disciplined mind gets freedom from all desires and becomes absorbed in the self alone. This verse emphasizes the need for deep thinking, for quiet introspection, and for achieving a state of mindfulness where we are fully absorbed in the moment, in the self. And let's not forget the profound verse from chapter 10 where Krishna says, I am the beginning, the middle, and the end of creation. This verse is about understanding the interconnectedness of all things, about recognizing that we are part of a larger whole. It requires deep thinking, a shift in perspective from seeing ourselves as isolated beings to seeing ourselves as part of the cosmic play. These verses, among many others, underline the importance of deep thinking in the Bhagavad Gita. They encourage us to question, to contemplate, to introspect. They remind us that understanding our own minds, our actions, our desires, and our place in the world is a path to peace and fulfillment. The Bhagavad Gita teaches us that deep thinking leads to enlightenment and self-realization. By encouraging us to delve deeper into our own minds and to understand the world around us in a more profound way, it guides us on the path to a more meaningful, fulfilling life. The teachings of the Bhagavad Gita can be applied in our modern lives to help us think more deeply.
Now, you might be wondering, how can I incorporate these ancient teachings into my bustling 21 saint century life? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Here are some practical tips. Firstly, let's talk about introspection. The Bhagavad Gita encourages us to look inward, to understand our true nature and motivations. In our fast-paced world, we often forget to check in with ourselves. Try to allocate a few minutes every day to sit in silence and reflect. Ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? What are my motivations? You'll be surprised at how much clarity this simple exercise can bring. Next, practice mindfulness. This is a concept that's become quite popular lately and for good reason. Mindfulness is about being fully present in the moment, not worrying about the past or the future. When you're eating, pay attention to the taste of your food. When you're walking, feel the ground beneath your feet. You'll begin to notice a richness in your everyday experiences that you may have missed before. Finally, understand the deeper meaning of your actions. The Bhagavad Gita teaches us that every action has a consequence and that we should perform our duties without attachment to the results. This doesn't mean we should be indifferent to our actions, but rather that we should focus on doing our best without being overly concerned about the outcome. Incorporating these practices into your life doesn't require a drastic lifestyle change. You can start small. Dedicate a few moments each day for introspection, try to be more present during your everyday activities, and reflect on the deeper implications of your actions. By integrating these teachings into our lives, we can overcome distractions and cultivate a habit of deep thinking. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So why not take that step today? In our busy, distracted lives, the Bhagavad Gita offers a path towards mindfulness and deep thinking. So, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've explored today. We've journeyed through the challenge of modern life, where distractions are plenty and time is fleeting. We've delved into the heart of the Bhagavad Gita, an ancient text that encourages us to think deeply, and we've seen its relevance in our world today. We've recounted the story of Arjuna and Krishna, a tale that underscores the importance of introspection and thoughtful decision-making. We've explored the value of deep thinking as emphasized in the Bhagavad Gita, and how it can be employed in our everyday lives. The teachings of the Bhagavad Gita are not just philosophical ideas from the past, they are practical tools for navigating our present. Challenge yourself to think deeply and discover the profound wisdom that lies within you, as guided by the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita. In conclusion, amidst the fast-paced and distracting nature of modern life, the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita offer valuable insights on the significance of deep thinking and mindfulness. The story of Arjuna and Krishna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra illustrates the importance of understanding one's duty and acting with clarity and conviction. The Bhagavad Gita emphasizes the need to focus on actions rather than outcomes, encouraging introspection, mindfulness, and detachment from results. By incorporating practices like introspection, mindfulness, and understanding the deeper meaning of actions into our daily lives, we can overcome distractions and cultivate a habit of deep thinking, leading to a more meaningful and fulfilling existence. The Bhagavad Gita's teachings provide a timeless guide for navigating the complexities of the modern world and discovering the wisdom within ourselves.